Hi, I'm Mary Rusin, and I, um, I'm, I'm from Pitts Grove, and I'm part of Arts and Bloom, and um, also dig into art. And so I thought I'd um, give you a little video on a small art project since we're being postponed till November. And this might give you uh, something to do this spring, this summer. And uh, of course I'm a sculptor. And so I'm always thinking of things, especially for kids um, in sculpture to get them introduced and to have fun. So uh, recently I participated in a project for uh, the Arts and Innovation Center, the Clay College in Melville, and it was called the Art of the Table. And so we sculpted plates and, and serving dishes and food and whatever, whatever you can put on the table. So that's where I got my idea. So this is uh, the Art of the Table project for you guys. And um, I just wanna show you what I did. I sculpted some food and, uh, and I put it together. So here, take a look at my example. I just want to um, show you what the supplies will be. We just need some air dry clay. This was Crayola crayon. We'll need a couple of paint brushes and some acrylics for the next day or even the day after that. After your sculptures dry and they're thoroughly dry then you can paint them any color you like. Um, you'll need some sculpting tools but if you don't have traditional sculpting tools popsicle sticks will do and a lot of things from the kitchen. Um, I used to, I like to use um, old credit cards. They really work well and they do a good job of cutting your and slicing your clay. Remember, don't take your mom's or your dad's. Let them give you some old cards that, that might be hanging around. I like to uh, cut a circle out of paper and I had cut a circle out of a paper plate, which worked really well because it has a little bit of a waxy finish to it and the clay kind of comes up really easy off of it. And um, then it's up to you whether you want to do vegetables or fruit or meat or make a nutritious plate or whether you just want to have a fun plate and maybe put a lot of sweet things, pieces of cake and lollipops. Uh, it's really whatever you like. And you can even make monster vegetables like maybe turn broccoli into a monster tree or a happy banana, whatever it is that you like. And uh, just use your imagination. And when you're done, if you can, take a picture of it uh, lay it down, set it up real nice, uh, send it to us at Salem County, and uh, take a picture of it, add your name and the date when you made it, and send it to us, and perhaps we can share that with the rest of the county on our website. So thank you for um, visiting, and thank you for doing this little project. So have a good time and enjoy the sculpture. So here is uh, an example of the art of the plate. And these are, you can see, they're not very big. I made myself a slice of cheese and then a fried egg for protein, tomato, slice, a slice of bread, and ah, a piece of salmon. And I set it up as though you were getting ready to eat a brunch. So that's, uh, that's one example. You can make anything you like. 